Oh, my goodness. You know, if you're sitting here watching this saying, you know, David, gosh, that procrastination word. I've been going to start this new diet, this new exercise program. I've been going to start collecting all the data about the amount of money I spend and what's a want and what's a need. I've been saying I'm going to get into a really great, healthy relationship. I just haven't taken the time to do it. Jeez, I hate this job. I really need to get into something that I love. I'm in a current relationship that's struggling and I, we need help. But have you done anything about it? Hey, David Essel here. I want to turn you guys into honey badgers, baby. <laughs> honey badgers, they don't procrastinate over anything because they know they're worthy of that wonderfully tasting mouse or or the, the larva from the beehive or the cobra that just tastes like honey. <laughs> so what's holding you back? What, what's, what's actually getting in the way of procrastination? Why are you procrastinating? I mean, logically, it doesn't make sense, right? You have a huge goal. You know you're worthy of a lot of money, a great body, a great relationship, a great uh, communication with God or your higher power. But you're not putting the work in. You're not creating time on a daily basis. Why is that? I'm going to give you four reasons right now. Really, really quick reasons. Because you got to shatter it, baby. You are deserving. You are worthy. But you got to prove it, right? You got to prove it. You can't just say it. You can't think it. <clears throat> you actually have to do it. Stuart, Stuart just says, honey badger, I know. Oh, I love it. Albert says, I'm here. A relentless honey badger. You guys freaking rock. You guys rock. Patricia, are you a honey badger? You better type yes. <laughs> honey badgers are unbelievable. They have no understanding of procrastination. If you say to a honey badger, like if you were to pull over on the side of the road and there's a honey badger there, you'd say to him, what's the defini of definition of procrastination? They go, what? Never heard of that word before. <laughs> See, you got to become a honey badger. Here it is. Number one, fear of success. Everyone says, I'm not afraid of success. I deserve it. Nonsense. If you, were afraid of, if you weren't afraid of success, you wouldn't procrastinate. What is the fear of success? It's that, oh my God, if I start recording my expenses or eating a clean diet or forgiving my partner, I've got to keep it going. You're right. So for a lot of us who don't want to have to keep being sober, keep eating clean to get the results we want, well, we'll just go, you know what? It, maybe it's just not the time. God doesn't want me here. Whatever, whatever, right? Okay, fear of failure. What's that? Well, fear of failure is, is that if I go after and say to people that I'm going to get sober, going to start collecting money, saving money, quit spending as much, I'm going to start being kinder to my children or my coworkers or whatever. And then what happens if we don't? Well, we feel bad. Our confidence drops. Well, what should happen is when we don't continue to do what's necessary to accomplish our goal, we should feel bad. That's okay. That's okay to feel bad. Feeling bad is a gift that we're given to tell us that we're off track, okay? So are you afraid of success? Having to keep doing the hard work to keep getting the results you want? Are you afraid of failure? You're going to be judged by others? Oh my God, I thought you said you were going to do X. You haven't done X in three weeks. You know what? You're right. I got to get back on track. It's okay to be judged if you're falling off. What's another reason? Well, what about, are you lazy? Now, here's something that people don't want to admit, right? You could be lazy as hell. If you're lazy, admit it. Say, I'm lazy. I am lazy. Just go ahead and admit it. Quit making excuses that it's your genetics or that, you know, because of who's in the, 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 the White House, you're never going to be able to accomplish acts or whatever the other nonsense is. If you're lazy, say you're lazy. If you're lazy and you want to change, then do the work. Quit procrastinating, right? I love it. I love it. I love it. I want you guys to rock. What's the last one? Well, so we have the fear of success. We have a fear of failure. We have laziness. The last one is simply a habit that you have somehow picked up a habit since birth. Maybe your parents procrastinated. Maybe your brother or sister. Maybe your first partner procrastinated. But somehow you picked up a habit and you think it's okay. So you justify, rationalize, and defend the reason why you're not getting up and getting your butt to the gym, you're still eating crap food, you're still drinking, you're still not recording your expenses, right? Because it's become a habit. Hey, listen, get chapter one for free of our number one best-selling book on positive thinking to help you shatter that subconscious mindset. And also, the greatest thing I can offer you right now is that we just created a brand new program called David Essel's Daily Video Boost. And you get an email, in your email, an exclusive video from our inspirational video library. It's 100% exclusive. It'll come to you directly to your email every morning early to help you shatter procrastination for good. Stuart just says, the book is freaking awesome. Thank you, Stuart. Oh my God. Albert just says, 
Um, I'm lazy, but that's not the reason. Albert, I know you can shatter this. Whatever is holding you back, you have the power to do it. But I'm going to tell you the last thing, guys. We're going to have to, and women, we're going to have to get uncomfortable day after day after day until that uncomfortability just becomes who we are, okay? So you can do it. We all can do it. And if the Daily Boost can help, if you need a message in your email box every day saying, let's go, sign up. We have people from Australia, London, Germany, Canada, the U.S., Mexico, all kinds of people. All kinds of people, okay? Share this video. Let's help others shatter procrastination once and for all. I'm in your corner. David Essel, talkdavid.com. Have a great, 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 great day.